Okay, hello everyone, I'm Peter from Ella Joy. Today I'll demonstrate a lab simulation of a V2H home usage scenario. First, this is an Ella Joy V2H main unit. Then this is the standard accessory cable included with delivery. This is a cable holder, which makes it easy to store. The charging cable was quickly removed. And here is the waterproof outlet for backup power. Those who have installed generators are probably familiar with it. Uh, this is an output connection cable. This end is a 1450 connector used to connect the LJV2H output. And this end is an SS2-50 connector used to connect the backup power outlet. Now let's look here. This is our lab simulated power distribution switch device. First, we can see this is the utility power. The utility power enters through this wire group, passes through the main breaker, and powers the home. When the utility power goes out, we need to disconnect the utility from the house circuit, then slide this locking device, and then turn on the backup power breaker. At this point, the backup power will supply electricity to the house through this line and breaker. When the backup power is connected because of this lock device, the utility power cannot be backfed. Likewise, when the utility power is connected because of the lock device, the backup power cannot be backfed either. This ensures that backup power and utility power do not short circuit. All right, over here. This is an electric vehicle simulator used to simulate our EV because we can't drive a real EV into our lab. Next, I'll show the steps for using the V2H, the Elejoy V2H usage steps. First, let's look at our power distribution box. When utility power works, it passes through this wire group through the main breaker to supply the home. When the utility power goes out, during the outage, we need to disconnect the utility from the house. Then slide this lock slider and connect the backup power. At this time, utility power cannot be fed in because of the locking mechanism. Then we need to connect the V2H to the backup power waterproof outlet. We use this cable. This end is a 1450 plug. This end is an SS2 plug. Let's connect them together. The V2H output port is here. We'll now connect the 1450 plug to the V2H output and connect the double S2N to the generator backup power socket. Now we insert it, then twist it slightly to lock it in place. Then the output here also has a twist lock so we can secure it firmly. Next, we'll start the machine. First, open the compartment door. Inside, we'll see two circuit breakers. This two-pole breaker is the input breaker and this three pole breaker is the output breaker. Then here is the power button. We press the power button. You'll hear a sound indicating successful startup. After about three seconds, the screen will light up. Once the screen lights up, we close the door. Then we take out the charging cable. Next, we connect our NACS charging cable to our Tesla simulator. Then we wait about 15 seconds. The V2H will connect with the vehicle. At this time, we can see the backup power is already supplying the home. Then we can look at this screen. The screen shows parameters like L1 and L2 voltage. Now our V2H has started powering the home. The V2H draws power from the Tesla charging cable as DC converts it into AC and powers the house. Through the backup power socket, then via this breaker to the house. Now we're powering an air conditioner. This is a three horsepower air conditioner. This is a power meter and this is our app interface. We can see the current output voltage is 238 volts. The app shows 230 volts. It also displays details for L1 and L2. L1 and this 99% shows the current vehicle battery charge status. Then here is a cutoff state option. When the battery level drops below 30%, the system automatically stops discharging, ensuring the car still retains driving range. 
through this button, we can set the cutoff battery threshold 